Hey guys, it's Mimi and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. Welcome to Tuesday afternoon live show. What a great time we're going to have together today. The crafty sidekick shenanigans had a doctor's appointment today, so she she's out. Day. So it'd just be us today. So hopefully we'll have a good time together anyway. Mimi, what you got to plan today? Okay, so this is very last minute, but I saw this picture on Pinterest and I was like, can I make that with one sheet of cardstock? And then I was like, Man, I love one sheet of cardstock. It's like my very favorite thing. So I picked up one sheet of cardstock and I gave it a go. Um, this is a folio. Hang on one second. It's a folio made from one sheet of 12 by 12. And I want to show you what it looks like. Okay. So you go like this. You open the top. There's a magnet. You open the bottom, you open these flaps. It would be much cuter if I had time to work on it because I did this today. <laughs> like I was just like, wouldn't this be cool? And then look, here's a flap for photos. Here's a flap for photos, right? Isn't that cool? I love how this turned out. What I love even more is I am literally using every single bit of this 12 by 12 because these flaps are from the same sheet. And these pockets are from the same sheet. Are y'all ready? Now, Tamitha is saying the measurements will be listed after the show. They will, because I literally was writing them down as we got going. Okay, so I have them and we will get them to you as soon as possible. I have them on paper, too. So let me show you what we're going to start with working with right here. Is Are those numbers backwards on screen? I, they I, are not on my screen. Okay, I don't know why, but in the studio, they're backwards for me always. All right, so here's what you need. One piece of 12 by 12. You can use this for in any color, with any paper pack, whatever, okay? So you're going to do this. This is what it'll look like. I'm going to move my hand. If you want to take a screenshot, I'll send this photo to Tamitha. She can put it in the blog post for you too, okay? Melinda says she is watching us from Cornerstone's therapy pool while she dries off. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that is cool. All right, so this is a good, it's a good way to draw. This is a 12 by 12. We're going to make some scores. Our first score is going to be three inches. Doesn't really matter where you start because I'm using a solid piece, right? So it doesn't matter. And then three and a half. Okay. And then we're going to do eight and a half and nine. Now I have found lately that I like to score on both sides. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to do that again in the same spot because I get better folds with these thicker card socks. This is a really thick, this is the um, Grocer's Craft 12 by 12 from PA, I think it is. I don't have the packaging on anymore. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And this one is pretty thick. So my next side, all right, so I've got those. Let me do that. So I did those. Now we're gonna turn it and do this side, okay? So I'm gonna turn this into my scoreboard, which I need to turn it this way. Ooh, is that right? Let me check. Let me check because now I've confused myself. Yeah, we're good. Okay. What confuses me is my monitor is backwards. So when I put it in there, I went, I'm showing this backwards. I got to stop looking at the monitor. Yeah, All right. Look at your monitor. I'm not. You're good. So two inches, two and a half inches, seven and a half inches, and then eight. All right, and I'm going to flip this over and do it again, okay? Because I like the way it works. Our pastor stopped by today to see us, and he was quite fascinated at this project <laughs> particularly. It was nice to sit and chat with him. All right, so let's look at it. I'm going to put this here, and I'm not going to look in the camera because it confuses me. This is what I just did. This is what yours should look like, okay? All right, now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you right here real quick. We don't need, I'm going to actually turn this and I'll explain to you why. Okay. Turn this page like this. This is the top of our folio. Okay. This section here is our top closing flap. So when you see this little guy here, that's where it is. Okay. So we need to get rid of some pieces. We don't need this one. I'm just going to do a little X. We don't need this one. Okay. And we don't need these down here to build the folio, but we do need them for what we're doing inside. Okay. I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna make you wait a little bit. So let me get my scissors and I'm going to cut those pieces away that we don't need. 
So making sure I have my flap at the top, I want you to see, I'm going to be cutting score marks off. So, so like this score mark right here, when I say I'm cutting it off, I'm cutting this piece off. So I'm going to cut to the furthest left-hand side of that score mark so that it stays on this piece and it doesn't stay here. Okay. So the flap that I want to keep will not have a score mark on it because I'm cutting it away. You can use your trimmer if you'd rather. I just find that this works pretty good. Oh, I need to go all the way up. You're going to go past that little hash mark right there where you kind of cross over. And then we're going to take this side off doing the same thing. I don't want that score mark left on. So I'm cutting it away. And let me show you what I mean. I want this to make sense. See how those score marks have gone now? They just kind of go out into infinity. <laughs> That's what we want to do. All right. You end up with this little guy and just hold on to you. See how we're going to use this. Even I was impressed. <laughs> That's terrible. Even I was impressed. Just wait. When you started showing it to me a while ago, this is pretty impressive. All right. So we're going to snip this one. Then we're going to snip this one. Here's the deal. I was telling my pastor this. I'm like, sometimes I have to go, is this my job? I love taking flat paper and making three-dimensional projects. I love that. All right. We're doing the same thing down here. Let me show you on here. We're going to be taking all of this off. And we're only going to be leaving this section here. Okay, so I'll show you. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut that score mark away. Just like that. I'm going to do it at this side as well. There we go. And so that's what we took away. That helps if we do that, doesn't it? And I'm going to do it on the other side as well. Again, don't get rid of these. We're going to use them. That's one reason I'm kind of paying attention to how I'm cutting because we're going to use those. All right. So here's what you should have left. You should have this piece, the big plus sign. Actually, that's more of a cross, isn't it? Because it's taller at the top. Then you should have these two pieces here. All right. And you should have these two pieces here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is with these two pieces, I want to make a little bit of a cut. There is one thing we don't need. So I'm going to use my trimmer for this because I want to get it nice and straight. This little section, um, let me point it out. This, you can see it better on this side. This long section, I want to cut that away. This smaller section, I want to leave there. It'll all make sense in a second. Let me cut this away. So I'm cutting away the side, okay? but I'm keeping that top score mark there. You can see it there. We're going to do that on both of them. I'm going to cut away the side score mark, but keep the top. So the only part of this 12 by 12 we're not going to use is this, and you probably could use this somehow, but I'm not going to use it today. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right here. And as always, we're going to make some little snips. I want to, what? Go ahead. Uh, Gene Lee said, I just got a weenie dog. Any advice? Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We love our weenie dogs. We have stubborn, three of them right now. Stubborn rascals. <laughs> Take it back, whatever. But they are loving. All right. From your score mark to the end of this flat, we're taking some, some weight off. Just going to do these little angled cuts. Kind of looks like tags, but that's not what we're doing. Just taking some weight off of there. Okay. And I can't wait to show you where those are going to go, but we're going to leave those along for a minute. Okay. Now we're going to get our other two pieces that I have hidden from myself. Here they are. And I might need to make a pencil mark here because I want y'all to see this really good. Let me see. I'm going to do it. Where these cross over. So our score marks cross over right there. I want to cut an angled cut across just like this. And what this will do is it will make my angle cut to take bulk out and it'll take that corner off at the same time. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll cut straight across here and you'll see what I'm talking about. You see how it took the corner off that I don't need, but it also made my cuts for me, my angle cuts, right? So we're just going to do that on both of these. Hmm. Did that make sense? Yeah. You hummed it. I do. All right, now let's fold and crease these. Okay, these become pockets, by the way, you guys. These are going to be pockets on our little folio. So I'm Am I supposed to go folio, leo, 
Yes. <laughs> God, I'm not sure I didn't <laughs> fail. Everybody knows that's your job. So just creasing these, okay? And if you did it right, and I rarely do, so if you didn't, don't stress. If you did it right, they line up like this. Look, if you did it right, you get this beautiful mitered corner. And if you don't do it right, you get this one where they cross over. And so what I do when I don't get it right, which is most of the time, is take my scissors and just snip that away. Because you do want that to lay pretty flat. So if it's not quite laying flat, we don't have a lot of room for like bulk in this album. So that's why I'm doing that. Okay, let's go back. Let's fold and crease. This is paper or this is card maker or paper crafters calisthenics. Fold and crease and fold and crease. That's what we do. Fold and crease and fold and crease. It does not help the waistline or the hips. It just doesn't. It just helps the score line. Mm. <laughs> that was a good one, too. <laughs> you yawned on that one, yeah, babe. <laughs> not the waistline, but the score line. Sorry. You yawned on it. <laughs> you know, I'm a yawner. You are a yawner. All right. And then I'm going to keep going. Look, I got her rolling on the floor laughing. Thank you very it ain't much. Personal. <laughs> Fold and crease is like bend and snap. That's right. The paper crafters bend and snap. That's what that is. All right. And then last one's at the top. This is our little closure. This goes just like this. Okay. So here's the beginnings. And now we're going to take our little pockets. Okay. And what I did was I let the open end be here. Something else I did. This is, I think, just a habit for me. I don't even know that it's necessary, but it's a thing I do. See where this is kind of flat on the end? It's just kind of, I don't know, kind of bulky. I'm just going to take my scissors in there and just cut a little bit of that weight off of there, too. So see how I just took it off right there? I just think when we glue this into place, which, by the way, it's going to go right here. You want to make sure of something, okay? Because we're cutting where score lines were and folds and things like that. Sometimes this can hang over where you really don't want it to hang over because you don't want it to hang over your score line. And if that's the case, just take your scissors or your scoreboard and just cut a scant little bit off. See how I cut that little bit off, almost the width of a score mark to make that fit. But we're not wasting any cardstock, which is what I love about this project. I love you can also do some fancy cuts, do a rounder cut, whatever you want to do. Do something fun. Uh, Jerry Ann, you need to be careful driving to Texas and watching us. <gasps> Jerry Ann was just here. Probably, you missed it. Probably a bad idea. Jerry Ann just came to see us today, and now they're headed to Texas. That means she made it to Maplesville and back. Jerry Ann, did you get to the um, library? Did you get to see it? I think it is so cute. Okay. So, a library in Maplesville? No, in Jemison. In I was, they, they are library enthusiast and they went to ours and they liked it and i said well ours is cute but you ain't seen jemison's extraordinary <laughs> all right so look i just glued that little pocket down and look what we did we took a scrap and turned it to a pocket love it all so right is it a scrap pocket it could be a scrap pocket it could be a scrap mm -hmm. pocket so i'm gonna do the same thing over here take a little weight off and i may have to trim it down a bit let's look and see yeah, it's hanging over my score line. Just a skosh. Do y'all know what a skosh is? A smidgen. It's, I think it's a little more than a smidgen, maybe, a skosh. What do you think? No, actually, I think a skosh would be less than a smidgen if I had to, well, if I was doing yeah. the math. All right, and then we line this up right here, and we're going to glue it down. And we have this Carol is watching us from Somerset, West South Africa. Ooh, welcome in. That's a long way from the house. That's a long way from here. That's true. Don't y'all love in. using every single bit of the paper? Have you ever just sat back in amazement that people in other parts of the world can just hang out with us? Isn't I mean, it cool? I, it's mind-boggling what technology has done. It's done a lot of bad things, but it's done some good things, too. Uh, Robin said it's a tad. So is, is, a, is it a smidgen and then a... I think it's a scose of smidgen and a tad. I think it would go like that. That's how you I think it. in my brain. Let's fold and crease these guys. Here's what I love about this project. I absolutely love when you get the literal most out of your card sock. There's just something about it that's so cool. Okay. Now, um, glue, press, glue presses did show up today. They may be live now. I don't know if they are or not, but they are here. They're here, but also there's some other new stuff. If you want to hang on them, not new stuff. I think it's just re. No, there's one new pack of paper. Okay. 
let me show you something at this point. I don't want to get distracted just yet. You have some options here. Okay. okay. I decided. Heidi took Shannon's spot. And Heidi says, according to Google. Oh, she Googled it. A skosh is smaller than bo both a smidgen and a tad. Wow. Yeah, see, I think it would be skosh, smidgen, tad. That's how in my head, skosh would be the smallest, smidgen, and then a tad. It's crazy, the stuff we talk about. All right, I want to show you all this real quick, okay? <laughs> what made Google come up with an answer to that? Come on. That's crazy. These pieces right here are these little guys right here. Okay, these little pieces. What you have to decide is where you want them. I did them sideways. You might want them to go up and down. You might want them to go on top of each other where one opens like a gate. Now, our guest in the peanut gallery said they're ready to go. Okay, Amber that said the... Amber and Tamitha. Okay, so the um, glue presses are ready to go. And Tamitha posted the link. Now, I <laughs> wanted my little tabs to live underneath the piece of paper that I was putting here to cover. So I went ahead and cut my paper and then glued my tabs to that and then glued it down. If you don't really care about that, if you want to just glue down later, that's fine. But let me show you this, okay? I'm going to take some paper. I'm going to use, okay, for this one, I use the Peaceful. This is the um, Christmas Flora Peaceful. That's what this one is. But today, because I ran out of this, because I've been using it for a lot of projects. But for today, I'm going to use Christmas Flora Joyful. And I haven't even opened this pack. I love opening a new pack. Mm. Haven't even opened this that one. That does get you. I get love you it. It does. I love it. So we're going to see what's in here, what we can play with. And. Lisa said a tad is pretty large. That's her husband's name. 6'2", 256. <laughs> That's a funny one. I like that. Tad's pretty good size. Ooh, this plaid, though. I love this plaid. I bet Let's you're going to use, use it. Plaid. Got to use the plaid. All right. So that centerpiece is four and three quarters by four. Well, the mat is four and three quarters by four and three quarters. It actually measures out at five by five. I tried to make it five by five. All right, so four and three quarters by four and three quarters. What a great way to use your six by six. Y'all are always asking me for folios that use six by six, and this is one. This one was fun to design because I just like giving myself parameters, and I said, you get one piece of 12 by 12. That's all you get. Make it happen. Yep. Love it. And you did. <laughs> Listen, no way. You love plaid? <laughs> I love plaid. Okay. They're all just flabbergasted. So plaid will go here, right? But what I was telling you is because I want to ha hide these little tabs, I'm going to put glue on the inside of a tab, just like this. And then I'm going to put it behind here. Now, what I did was I brought it down. Let me show you. I'm going to, I'm going to sandwich that in. So I'm just closing that on the page. And I brought it down about a quarter of an inch because they're going to overlap anyway. But you can see I kind of brought it down. And again, this is what I was saying. If you wanted it to come from the top, you can glue it where the flap will open from the top, which is cute too. Do you want me to do a top one because we got a side one so you can see them both? I'll let Lisa, most me. of the time, my mate's going to grab that cricket trimmer. It's the, the new one. It's the 13 inch trimmer when she's just trimming paper. If she's working on some other kind of big project, she may use one of the other a little fancier trimmers. But for all of her basic stuff, it's pretty going to be that cricket trimmer. It's kind of just my go to. It's my one like Shannon uses um, the dress my craft, which is good too. And many times I use it because if Shannon and I are crafting together and she has one for me, especially if Shannon sets up for me, she'll a lot of times get me a dress my craft. It's fine, but you know, you get used to what you're used to, right? But I love them. I love them all. All right. Did anybody say what they wanted? Tina said, yes, I'm going with it. Okay. So we're going to go this way. So this means you'll have a open at the top and it, that's kind of cute too. I like that. So let's glue that down. So see how I glued my tabs on the back? I'm scrubbing this, and I know not to. What are you? Ah. Was that considered scrubbing? It? When you scrub it, you sometimes send glue back up into the nozzle. And I know not to do that, but I was doing and that can stop it up if you mm -hmm. ain't careful. Mm -hmm. 
Rita said her grandson Hayden climbed up with her and squealed, "My man, and any." Oh, how sweet, any. That's like a belly button. <laughs> okay, something I got to show you. I want to make sure I show you. Okay, if you so you'll close these down like this, and you'll close this up like this. But I got to show you this. Look at your fold over. You don't have a super super amount of overlap here. Okay, do you see that? It's not a super, super big amount. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the best way to put your magnet on without putting it in the wrong spot. So I'm going to make a pencil mark showing me where my flap hangs over. See that? Uh, Belinda, the phones are working, but see Tamitha that? is trying to do the chat, put in links and answer the phone. So her hands are pretty full right now. So if you'll be patient. Um, I'm sure she'll get back to you very quickly. I was going to see if um, Sylvia could help her on the phone, but I don't think we can take it off and do it, whatever. But okay, so this is a magnet, and we're going to put it in now so we don't have to do an implant, which I had to do earlier. I actually didn't implant, I peeled it off and started, over. started over. Yeah, you did. All right, so what I'm going to do here, and I don't have a whole lot of space, I'm using a small magnet. So I can give myself plenty of room for my cardstock to go down. And, you know, I like to do this. I like for it to go, you know, where I have some room here on top and bottom. So there's that. And then I will close the doors and we'll close the bottom flap and I'll close the top flap. Make sure we're overlapping good. We are. And then we're going to take this um, backer off of here and pick this up. I just love how this little guy turns out. Isn't it cute? I think he's a he's a good gift idea. All right, and we've got them installed right where they need to be, and then we'll cover with paper. So check it out. Let's cover it up now. We can chat because I now we can slow down and chill out because now I'm just going to cover things. All right. The new Sizzik board is not back in stock yet. It's on order. It should be here soon. This will be fun. I want to look at um, oh, look at these papers. I want a floral with that plaid. Kind of like that floral. That one's cute. That one's too solid. I think I'm going to do this bigger one. I think I'm going to do this one. All right. So here's how I cover flaps. And I will have these measures for you. I just don't have it yet. Okay. But I will. Here's how I cover them. So here's my flap, right? I want to cover. Here's my score mark where I want to put my paper from here down. So I'm going to measure that. And that ends up being four inches. I take a quarter of an inch off. The reason I do is I want it to have a matte edge. So if I take a quarter of an inch off, it's going to give me a matte top and bottom side to side. I'll explain that in a second. But it, what happens if you split a quarter of an inch in half? What do you get? Do you know? A quarter of an inch and a half is an eighth. You get an eighth. And I'll get an eighth and a half, an eighth inch border at the top and an eighth inch border at the bottom and an eighth inch on either and side. Why is it an eighth? Because two eighths is Makes a, a quota. quarter. There you go. You can't beat me on measure math. You can try. You want to try? Don't ask no, me to add. I don't anything. want to try, but I was able to answer your question. Don't ask me to add anything. Semi-educationally. <laughs> All right. So let me show you what I'm talking about. When I do it at a quarter of an inch smaller. I haven't done my width yet. I just want to show you. When I do it, I'm going to turn this where y'all can only see the page. When I do it a quarter of an inch smaller, you see how I have an eighth at the top and an eighth at the bottom? That's why we do that. Okay. So now what I got to do is measure the width and do the same thing. Take a quarter of an inch off. So Lisa for this said one, if it was a skosh, that'd be a one sixteenth. This one measured a little shy. Sorry. So I'm going to go about here. I may have just cut too much off because I was thinking. A scotia is one sixteenth. Gotcha. That makes sense. All right. There we go. Look how cute. It's so cute. So cute. I think I did this one at four and three fourths, but I'll have it for you. I need to check what I wrote down earlier because I think that's what I wrote. Yep. Four and three fourths by three and three fourths. So see how we end up getting that eighth inch all the way around and giving us that little mat? I like the mat. I think it makes everything look neat and clean. All right, so we got two pages covered. 
let's cover the pockets. I want to show you how I did this. The first thing I did was I looked to see if I had any scraps that would fit. This one would, except for that little hole right there. And that on this paper, it's very busy and it's hard to see. So you could put that in and then maybe put a piece of ephemera over it or something and not waste that whole strip. I'm going to go find another piece because I like using cardstock anyway, right? <laughs> Heidi, that would be eight is the number you're looking for. I like this piece. All right. If I remember correctly, let me check my measures. Inside pocket, two and three fourths by four and a half. We'll cut that real quick. Two and three fourths by four and a half. So let's do the four and a half first. All these pieces right here, perfect for quilt cards. I'm designing all the quilt cards for our um, class coming up for, for Wayne, the fundraiser for Wayne. And I'm using the tiniest pieces of paper. Not the tiniest, but those pieces are perfect. They are not scrap. They're not, they're not waste. They can be used. Yeah, BJ, 16 30 seconds would be a half. Eight 30 seconds would be a quarter. This little piece for the pocket, two and three fourths by one and three fourths, I can get that from these. And I think what I'm going to do is bring this up. Or do I want to do the plaid? Let's do this. So let's do one and three fourths. Oh, yeah, Kim, this would be cool for you to make for your girls. I mean, because they two could take these and keep these in their purse because they're you know, they're not huge little brag books. All right, let me show you this real quick. Because this pocket is a gusseted pocket, y'all know what I mean by that? It has that little gusset area right there. We're able to take this piece and tuck it in to glue it down. So I did not make this one as long as it had to be. I made it a little bit shy on the measure so that I wouldn't have to fight that bottom gusset too much. So what you'll do is apply glue. Uh, speaking of this, during this lull in, in time, there's 660 people or so watching, but there's only like 200 and something likes. So where's all the Vinny in the video? So you can I see need some help, y'all. Give us a thumbs up. Vinny it, y'all. What I did there was just kind of float it down in there and then measure with my eye around the sides to get that right. Let's do the other one. This is literally the reason I love paper crafting. You can just make it do what you want it to do. And I love that. Man, look at them likes jumping off the page. Just mention it. Everybody just gives us a thumbs up. I have to tell y'all, I you guys really do like the video. I have been watching the numbers and like we had a video that had over like 2,500 likes on it. Yeah. That's that's just from y'all. That's amazing. That really, I know that's crazy, but it really, really does help um, our channel. It helps that get, tra helps the video get traction. Uh, just when I mentioned it, since I mentioned it, we've had about 85 more. No, almost 100 people more like it. Wow. You guys rock. Look how cute this is. I just think it's adorbs. What an easy folio, right? Y'all are the ones that are amazing. It's not just us. Not just me. That's what you said. It's not just us. It's not I just said me. just us. It's not just me. We'll share the love. <laughs> Y'all are the ones that are awesome. Yes, it does help the ag algorithm. I couldn't get the word to come out. At least I stopped myself and didn't say something crazy. I've been known to do that. This piece in here, I have been wanting to use. Look how beautiful that color is. Very different for Christmas time, ain't it? It's very folly Christmas, I think. I'm going to take this one and cover this. And I think I'm going to take that other piece and cover. You need one piece for to cover both of these because the way we have to cut it. I think we use this bright, bright piece. Oh, I can't. That's my cut apart. So I want to use those two. So let's go find us another piece. Linda wants to know what's holding your glue. Um, I, I so want to say gravity. I'm just kidding. It's not. It's a glue. It's a. I'll show you in just a second. Let me pick a color here. Maybe I'll do this one twice. Maybe because we'll, I really like this. Let's just see what we can do. Let's just see what we can do. 
Uh, the one, Elsie, I don't know for sure if this is what you're talking about, but Celebrate the Season is the one that Miss Edna helped write the sentiments for. She wrote the and, sentiments for that, but they may be thinking about the one we did um, most recently where we put the say, the the line from Mom's play in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I don't remember the name of that set. I'm going to have to ask somebody. Tamitha can probably tell you. What was it? Back to Bethlehem. Did we name the stamp set? Back did we? Because that was the name of a play. Did we name it Back to Bethlehem? There's a very know. good chance I did knowing me. Very good chance. All right. So three and three fourths by... Two and three fourths. Three and three fourths. I'm going to start with the tall one. Three and three fourths. And then two and three fourths twice. Back to Bethlehem, we did. That yep. makes sense. When I cut these earlier, and it's doing it to me now, too. When I cut these earlier, they felt too small, and I'm really feeling like they are. Let's see if it's doing it again. And then if it does, you guys will know it must be an optical illusion because these felt very much too small when I cut them earlier. I'm pretty sure it's just the optical it illusion. It is because, look, they're right. But for some reason, they felt too small. All right. I'm going to put this one down here. Love that orange. You love that orange. So pretty. Then I'll put a greeny one here. Is that green or blue? What do y'all say? What do you say it is, green or blue? I'm trying to see it in person versus on camera. It looks pretty much the same. It does. Pretty close. Yeah. So I'm going to say, I, I don't know what I would say because it's not really blue and it's not really green. It's greeny to me. I wouldn't say it's an olive either. It's not. It's really more green sage. Enough. Really yeah, more sage. sage. That's a good, I think that would be close. Greeny blue. Let's just go with that one. That yeah. works. A greeny blue. Because it does look more green than blue. Oh, it does look a little sea foamy. So y'all know all those fancy names for stuff. Look how quick that is right there. All I got to do is add pictures and ephemera. Of course, I right? guess greeny blue would be a long name on a crayon. No. Nowadays, they have such long names on crayons. Addie had a um, crayon box, and we were laughing about some of the names because they were so long. I wanted to be able to use that scrap, but I'm not going to be able to. So I'm going to go back to the papers. I'm going to pick, since I've got to cut a strip here to fit this, I'm going to pick what I want to go here and put the inside of it here. So let's see. Let's see what I want to go on that flap. Oh, plaid. That plaid. What's on the inside of plaid? That would work so well. And I can have plaid on the front. Don't want plaid on the front. Probably knowing me. Probably knowing me, I will have it. I would put it on the front and I'll do the whole thing in plaid. Oh, this would be pretty. Mm, let me see. Decisions, decisions, decisions. This one will be pretty. Let's do that one. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut this little one right here. This one is going to be four and three quarters. And that'll be a little bit tight. Let me do this one four and five eighths by one and three quarters. Four and five eighths by one and three quarters. Four and five eighths, one and three quarters. Let's go right here. Let's do four and one, two, three, four, five. Right there. And I want to do that again because remember, we're going to cover both sides of that flat with this one. I'm going to flip it over and use that green. So one and three quarters. Four and five eighths. Yours may not be four and five eighths, by the way. Yours might be four and three fourths or four and a half because it's going to depend on how you cut your score marks off. There's no way for us to be exactly the same. So just remember that if you're doing one, if you're making one of these and you go, my measures aren't the same as hers. Don't worry. A lot of times it's just because we can't score and trim exactly the same. I put extra glue where the magnet's going. 
down and rub it around. That's going to be tight right there. I knew it would be, but it'll be all right. Get that held down so it'll catch. And I may have to go in there and squirt a little more glue in there in case I didn't have enough. I think right there I didn't have any because it's not one to lay down. There. All right, let's flip this over. And this time I'm going to put plaid here because I want plaid on the front. Because I, I love it. So somebody asked me earlier what this was that my glue is in. This is the My Sweet Petunia Precision Glue Press. And it stands up in this little um, holder. And I adore it. And I will tell you that when I came in Monday, now I've had this on the holder for three weeks without having to put a glue in, put a pin in it. When I came in Monday, I used it and went, mm, I might put a pin in this. So after a month, I took my, my cap. There's a pin inside the cap. It is stainless, by the way. I reached out to my sweet petunia and found that out. It is stainless. Um, so I put my cap in and I took my cap out. And I put it back here and we just went to work and it was just fine. So I did do that after a month, three weeks to a month. I don't remember exactly. All right. We need to do these guys right here and we need to do this front section, which I had already pulled this one for the front because I think that'll be pretty under the plaid. So let me measure three and three fourths, four and five eighths, three and three fourths, four and five eighths. Three and three fourths. Yeah. Four and five eighths. All right, let's glue this guy down. I think that's going to look good under that plaid. Again, you want to make sure you get plenty of glue around your magnet. You could put sticky tape too. If you're giving this as a gift, I might do that on this because of how close it ended up being. Might put a little sticky tape on it. Get this stuck down well. All right. And then let me flip it up and look at that because I want to see what I want to do to my side panels. Look how pretty that is together. I love that together. Oh, yeah, that definitely pulls out that strip of color. Not pretty. Yeah. I love that. I like that. All right. And then what I'm going to do is cover these little guys. Did I cover the insides? I did. So let's cut these down. They'll be a little different size. When you order the glue press, it comes with two bottles. It comes with one that has the glue that is made by um, Nuvo. Nuvo, and then it has an empty bottle. And of course, my maid puts our glitter glue in the empty bottle. The Nuvo glue, didn't you say you felt like it when you applied it? When I applied it, it, it bubbled my thick. page. It's a little thick, but I also have not learned it, so I don't really know the like. There's a feel for all glues. There's an amount you should put down for all glues. And I haven't learned it on that one. Um, so I'm going to save it for when I'm doing like chipboard or something like that. I think it'll work something really well thicker. there. Mm -hmm. But that's personal preference because some people that's their glue. And again, it's a, it's a, it's, you get the feel for it kind of thing. Oh gosh, we are coming up on winter stock, aren't we? Yep. I didn't even think about that. Explain that to everybody watching. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel and maybe new to our glitter glue, um, the company requests that we do not ship it anywhere where it has to travel through temperatures lower than 40 degrees at night. So it won't be too much longer and our glitter glue will come off of the website and you'll have to call in and have us verify whether we can ship it to you or not. It feels like we just put it back on, doesn't it? It's so uh -huh. weird. So for those of you that are up north, um, you may want to start planning on stocking up. Because it won't be too long before it'll be too cold for me to ship it to you. You have a Facebook user that's asking about the glue gun that you're using from My Sweet Petunia. Mm -hmm. Petunia. You want to tell the name of it or whatever. It's again. called the Precision Glue Gun. 
and we have it on our website at mmmedit.com. It came back in today. Y'all, this is our fourth order of them. We've yes. ordered a lot of them. They are flying out every time we get them. So if it's not there when you watch this video, I apologize, but it will be back. And Vince has ordered more cases every time. Amber's like, we just can't, we can't out order it. It just, they just sell out as soon as they come in. And I get it because they are the coolest thing ever. Love them. Love that. All right. I've still got some to cover the back. Y'all know what's my rule about the back. Do you know my rule about the back? Okay. Renee said, I just bought the glue thingy and now I'm headed to sit by the mailbox in cut and shoot, Texas. <laughs> Cut and shoot, Texas. That's a place, really? Cut and shoot? Yeah, that's what she says. I've never heard of that. I'm not familiar with cut and shoot, Texas. I want to see if anybody knows my rule about the back. All right. By the way, five by five. I, some of y'all probably caught that before because I talked about what size the inside was. So this is going to be four and three-fourths by four and three-fourths. Four and three-fourths by four and three-fourths. Least like paper. Very good. That's exactly right. The one you like the least, you put on the back. It matches because it's from the color family, right? But you don't want to look at it all the time. So put it on the back and you won't see it much. And you don't waste a piece. Here's another thing. The back is always just one big old piece. So I don't want to waste one of my favorite pieces to cover this. You know what I'm saying? This Several piece is really pretty too. Rule. They know the rule because because they think like me too. It's like, we don't want to put like. It's a real place. It's a real. Oh, cut and shoot is a real place. We don't want to put like our favorite piece back here because it takes up a lot of landscape and we could use it inside somewhere else. Not that this is a bad piece of paper because it's real cute. I'm just putting it back here because I think that's where it should live. Now, I would also cover these little um, flaps on the, the side, but it's a quarter till three. I want to show you all the product that came in and I want to answer any questions. What do you think? One sheet. Of, that's literally one sheet of 12 by 12 plus decorator paper. Y'all see how fast we did that from start to finish? From start to finish, all you had to do here is put in paper, I mean, put in pictures, put in ephemera, maybe put some stamp sentiments in here, and this guy's ready to go. Ready to roll. Another thing, if you were given this as a gift, um, make this a pocket, put a gift card, make this a pocket, put a gift card. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are gift card holders. They could ho totally hold gift cards. Who doesn't want to stack a gift card? Stack a gift card. That's what I'm saying. Somebody asked me about that, like, why would you put that many gift cards in? Okay, think about it. If you're giving a gift to somebody like Joe, for example, Joe has to travel to work, right? He has to drive into work. So maybe you give him, you know, $5 to McDonald's and then $5 to this and then $10 to that. You know What's what I'm saying? What's he going to get with $5? He can Cold get like drink? a coffee or something. Maybe. I don't know. That's what I was thinking. Like, if you gave him Joe gets different 30 ones. count nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> What's $5 going to do? That's like, that was cute, but I ain't going to touch it. Yeah, I ain't getting it. <laughs> Let me show you. Um, what happens if we do them sideways? If you do it this way, this works, but these pockets don't. You'd have to turn them the other way. I always like to see if we can turn something. Look how cute they are. Super simple. Super simple. One little sheet of cardstock. Made a photo album. All right. This is the precision glue press. Let's do the let's talk about the the uh elephant in the room. <laughs> precision glue press. This is what it looks like on your desk. It sits flat. It's got a grippy bottom. It sits down on the desk. This little section right here is the little lid that goes on the bottle. It comes in the bottle. It looks like this when it comes in the box. See that? This has a pin inside, which is super hard to see. There it is. There's the pin. So when you do put your lid on, you can just line that pin up, which is easier if you're younger. If you have younger eyes, it's much easier than these that I have. Um, and that pin is stainless. We check to see so it won't rust inside your bottle. So if you want to do that, you can. I have not put the cap on it. I've been leaving it capless. Um, it has a little place to store it. And I've just been doing this. Inside of here, you'll see there's a little pink um, piece that's silicone. That little piece there is. So it pushes up against the tip um, and it closes off the glue stream for you. Now, there is something important. I, just, I feel like you want to answer a question while I open this. You're good. Okay. There is something important I want to point out to you, okay? This is the extra bottle that comes with it. This gray color is different, let me show you, than this white color. See that? I want you to see the difference, okay? The gray one is the bigger hole. 
this gray one has um, offers a um, larger flow. So I was told this is more for your glossy accents, your crystal glaze, maybe even your triple thick, maybe a tacky glue. This is for something thicker. You can see that by looking. I didn't realize that when I first got mine. Also, that pen is thicker. The pen is fits in here better uh, or not better, but fits in here for that hole. But I didn't realize that when I first got mine and I put my art glitter glue in it and it kept it kept leaking. And that's why, because our art glitter glue is pretty thin. Right. All right. And then it comes with this incredible rubber band, which I'm in love with. I love this rubber band. When you get it at home, you're going to take the rubber band off because that's what's holding it together. Y'all don't get rid of this. If you have a journal or if you're somebody that keeps like a book with loose pages or something, you can totally use this there. Um, and then here's what happens. You'll take this cap off. This is the Nouveau glue product in here. You'll pop this out. You have to take the cap off to pop it out. Pop it out like this. And this is what that does like this okay and then inside here i want to show you how this works when i press the handle i'm gonna press the handle you see how it pushes that little piece up so what's cool about it, it just works with leverage there we go see that so what happens is when your bottle is in when it's in place i'm not going to squeeze this because this will belong to somebody at some point let's put the lid back on lydia asked what tip would you use with a product like uh fabrifix Maybe I, hope I, I said probably it use right. the I probably use this. Mm, that's a tough one because it's kind of that one's kind of sticky. Did you say Fabri-Tac? Fabri-Tac. Uh She spelled it F A B R I F I X. I don't Fabri know what that is. I just know Fabri-Tac. Was it the same stuff? Is it clear and kind of jelly? I'm really asking. Her, I don't have a clue. I'm really asking her, not you. <laughs> I know you was looking at me, but but that's how that works. And what I did was. Um, Missy Missy says she was wanting about Fabri-Tac. I would put the, I would try it with the thin nozzle first. Lydia says it's fixed. I so. would try it with the thin nozzle first. I'd be afraid to put it in the big nozzle. Um, the thing I did was when I got this in, um, I kept this bottle intact and put it aside. But I got a, um, a refill bottle set. They also, you also can get a refill bottle. So I got my refill bottle and switched my tip out on it. So on my bottle, you'll see here, I've got the white. So that's what I did. I want to make sure I put the white one on. So let's see if I can remember how to do this. So, uh, so there was a customer in this week and I was showing her, we had some in the retail store. I was showing her the tool. And when we got done, I went to box it back up and I couldn't remember how it came out. So I tried to pay attention this time to see if I could get it back in here. Right. Let's see. Let's just see. Well, did something wrong there because, oh, here's your issue. Your issue is you ain't down here like you're supposed to be. Let's call, let's, let's, that's not right. <laughs> I cannot remember. Okay, 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 okay. That feels snug. That feels snug. Okay, and now we're going to put this back in here. If you get this one and the rubber band's all jank, you know I did it. <laughs> And then I'm going to put this bottle in and I'm going to close this up. Now, this one is ready for sale. So that is the Precision gl uh, Glue Press. I love it. We'll look at the back. There's some info on the back, too. Select your adhesive. Your Nouveau Deluxe adhesive comes with a fine tip nozzle. The supplied empty bottle comes equipped with a regular nozzle for thicker, more viscous glue. Um, unscrew the lid and load your selective adhesive. Aim and gently squeeze the trigger to get consistent, effortless, precise um, application. Place your precision glue press into its stand between uses. Your stand's cushion seat is designed to create an airtight seal for your tip. No more block nozzles. It really is great. It really is great. It's um, a cool tool. I love it. So there's that. Let me see what else is in. The Mini Misty is back in stock. We must have ordered all that at the same time. Where did I put all this up? Here it is. It's like I moved all the stuff I was supposed to show y'all. This is back in stock. The Cropodile is back in stock. This is the hole punch and eyelet setter. I have a full video on this on my channel. The spinner, the um, Gemini 360 turntable, back in stock. This sold out quick when we showed it before. Um, let's see. Oh, Shannon's favorite. These are the uh, postage edge rectangles. Look how pretty this die set is. You won't be sad about this die set. We use it all the time. So this is back in stock. Looks like our mini scoreboard from We Are is back in stock. 
And then we have something new, which I'm excited about. Remember we something got new. remember we got the six by six of this favorite flannel. Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. Look at this. You know if the refill bottle has the small tip or is it the big tip? It it's both. Don't you get a tip and a tip? I haven't opened it, so I'm not sure what comes Can in. Can somebody it. who's looking at it tell me? I'm pretty sure you get both tips in there with it. I think you get the bottle with a tip on it and an extra tip, and the tips are different sizes. Look at this. Linda on the art glitter glue, they only guarantee it for one year. If you've had it for five years, what I would do is I would make my arm hurt shaking it. I would shake it and 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 then see if it works. Because I've had people say it's worked for years, but they only guarantee it for one year. But was it? It's just paper. Try it. Check it up. Try it. You happy over smelling? <laughs> you and that paper smelling. This one smells like a. Um, it's gonna sound crazy. My daddy. This is something you don't know. Trent wants to know what's it smell like. Here's something you don't know. My daddy used to work in Montevallo for a company that made blow mold bottles. You know how you blow mold stuff with the plastic? How they do it? They made hydrogen peroxide bottles, those brown bottles. Yep, yep. This reminds me of that plant. So it smells like hydrogen peroxide plants. But it, I don't know. Not real attractive. Smell. No, it smells really clean. Like that plant okay. had to be sterile. You know what I'm saying? It smells clean. It, reminds, it takes me back to those bottles. I used to love those bottles. They would make these machines. You know, they have those shows like how it's made and people are fascinated by it. So these, this goo, this brown goo would get poured into this thing and then air would go in and it would make the shape of the bottle and it would like, like freeze it. And it's, that's how the blow mold work, mm -hmm. blow mold works. And then they would just fall out in vats. There would be vats of these brown bottles that didn't have the labels on them yet. I mean, vats of them. And I remember this, the tops would still have like a messy area on the top and they would have to clean that off by hand. You know how like the, the product would come out like, okay, this is a blow mold, blow mold. I can't say blow mold. This is a blow mold bottle. So the top would have some of the product still like messy up here and they would have to clean this off. I'm sure a machine does this now, but they did it by hand. And I remember that. And as a kid, I was fascinated by that place. Fascinated. All right, I'm going to take a look just one more time at how many people are watching and how many likes we got. Hey, y'all did better. 739 people watching right now and almost 500 woo -hoo, likes. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. That's pretty good, y'all. That's pretty good. Hey, look at that but beautiful solid it, paper, Vinny. What? Look at that beautiful solid paper. I saw that already. <laughs> you didn't comment on it. No, I ain't comment. I ain't. I ain't recognizing that. It ain't solid. It's, it's plastic. solid blue. It ain't. If you need a solid blue. It ain't. Can't you see this as a sky? No. Yes, you can. I cannot. It's plaid. Yes, the sky can. is not plaid. This can be a sky. It'll be a beautiful sky. <laughs> Sylvia said she's got a four-year-old bottle of art glitter glue. Still does fine. Just shake I've, it up good, y'all. That's I all I I used art glitter glue for when we moved. I remember this. When we moved from Verbena to here, I had the same refill bottle. This is how I count time is by leases. <laughs> I had the same refill bottle. I moved that refill bottle into this new studio, to the old studio now. And I used that one and replaced it in the last year of our third third year lease. So I know I used it two years. I don't know how long I'd had it in Verbena, but I know when we got here, I used it two years. Okay. I'm not telling, they don't promise that. No, I'm they don't promise it. They only guarantee it for a year. And Jen said, you got to agree with that. The sky is definitely not flat. It depends on your world. It's not flat. Live in your world. Your world can no, be no, blue no. with it's little fucking white clouds. It ain't just no. my world. It's reality. Perception. <laughs> and to answer the question about Bean, no, she's still gone. Till Friday. But I get to go get her Friday unless, you know, she ain't ready. But I'm praying she's ready. <laughs> You, you better be your, ready. Live in your world, Ben. Live in your world. That's the only one I can be in. My world has plaid sky, buffalo check mountains. Oh, that's See, cool. Charlotte, Charlotte and I, we think a lot alike on things. <laughs> the sky is not flat, but the paper is still solid. Boom. It ain't. <laughs> it ain't. 
It's like a sky with chemtrails. <laughs> I love y'all. Buddy night. Okay, Lita, would you ask Timothy if she would do that? Function of Light says I have little use for reality. Thank you. <laughs> but hey, she does respect me. Lita said, Kameth is so helpful. You should interview her so we can meet her. When are we scheduling that, Tam? Let's let's schedule it. I bet she's going to line up. Kameth likes to be like the Wilson of the Mamey Made It World. <laughs> like, film picking up Bean. I, prob I won't film picking her up at the location, but I will probably film something right after that. I don't know that he would want me to it's <laughs> definitely like, um, um, because it's his place of business and because he has other dogs there that are owned by other people, you know, they might not yeah. want their dogs on. Some of the dogs are, I mean, you know, he's an award winning field bird dog trainer. How do you say that? So, and I will tell you this if any of you, if any of you are in the market for a German short hair pointer, he's got some. puppy. He has some of the most stunning puppies. They're so beautiful. We also have some labs available. Pure I think you told labs. me all the labs were Are sold they spoken already. For? Okay. But I mean, some of the prettiest German short hairs I've ever seen. Tim said she might do an, an interview in fall. She always feels fabulous in the fall. Um, we I love to do. I really want to do a segment in these shows where we interview our staff. But the problem is. The staff we have right now are all pretty shy except Jazz. I could bring Jazz in. Shannon will come in. Jazz would come in. Amber will come in. Amber she would real not keen enjoy it. it. She, <laughs> she wouldn't would do enjoy it. But she wouldn't it, enjoy it. Did you see, speaking of not enjoying something, did you see the video I sent to Tamitha? No. Did I tag Tamitha in? Wow. Karen says she took a picture of a plaid sky on Sunday. Just oh, to let you know, you did there not. were five chemtrails crossing each other. Well, okay, you might have. Joy says they had their dog trained by an award-winning trainer, and it turned out fabulous. I'm sure we'll be happy. You know, I've been thinking, Tim has ever said I would do it, but I would not enjoy it. I've been thinking about Bean and what it's going to be like when she comes home, and I just want to do the best by her because I don't want her, I don't want this month to be wasted. So I want to try very hard to keep up what she's learned. You know what I'm saying? I don't want her to have to have been gone for us from us for 30 days and it be for nothing. I don't think it will be. I've already seen what she can do after two weeks, but I just want to be sure. Thank you, Missy. Missy, I think our staff is amazing too. Speaking of our staff, we're looking to add to our staff. So if you know anybody looking for a position, an in-house position, we're looking for someone to help in the retail store as well as kind of float around and help everybody a little bit. Like everybody kind of has some overflow work that they can always use help with. And there's been times when we've had like a lot of people working all the time. Oh, I have seen that. The Tennessee one. She's, yeah. a, cutie. Yeah. she's I, a cutie. I had to post it. She's a cutie. But if you know somebody local to us that is looking for a position, let us know. Um, oh, that's something, isn't it? I know you loved it. I knew you would. I did try to get you to move here this weekend. I did. I don't know what they're waiting on. Missy, Missy and her husband. Oh, yeah. I don't know what they're waiting on. He kept saying, you better stop. Don't do it. I said, what you waiting on? Look how beautiful it is here. <laughs> Um, oh, y'all are so sweet. You think it would be, we work hard. I'll be honest with y'all. We don't craft much. We work a lot. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was telling my pastor that today I'm, when he was looking at the stuff I was making, I was like, listen, when I get to do this, I sit here and go, God, how is this my job? When I get to sit down and do it, it really is amazing. It Tina really said, is. Do you need her to drop off her resume? <laughs> I don't know. Do you need to? <laughs> um, Utah to Alabama would be a long commute, a long one. I know who has time to craft, right? I love it when I do. This week I've been working on the cards for, I've been, I have locked myself in this room working on the cards for Wayne's fundraiser because um, we're doing PDFs and all that stuff, which the reason I don't enjoy doing that in every video is because it takes a lot of time of prep work. And I'm a person that's like, I had an idea and I want to film it. For example, I had that folio idea at 11.45 today, and I sat down, and I played with it, and I did it. That's why you don't have measures. You know what I'm saying? 
I, it's not like I planned it out last week. I really do work like that. I work better under pressure. I'm one of those people. If you want me to get something done good, give me some pressure. That's how I work. Um, <laughs> Amy says we could pay her in stamps. A lot of people say that they live closer. They work for product. No way. No way. I have to tell you, and I know Miss Geneva is watching, but I think this is a funny story. She said to me when we interviewed her, we interviewed her while she was shopping one day. And she, she said, now, I can't, my husband said, I can't work for product. I have to get paid. I said, oh, I, I would never ask you to do that. She buys more product than she gets paid. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. The weekend event was fun. There was a lot of folks there. Did you guys get to see it? Did everybody see that Jason and Brooke from Cog Hill danced on my channel? Did everybody see that? I'm just saying. I felt a little bit special that they did. And we got to look inside the canned ham. If you know what the canned ham is, then you know. And does it not look like a canned ham? It does. To be honest, I thought it was like a full-size one of those campers. It is not. It's like a half-size one of those campers. You know, the. Yeah. it was tiny. It's a it was small so cute. Ham. We need one of those when we do travel trips. Like when we have to set up, we need one of those. You could have had the air going. We were melting. Literally, if you I came to see us, come outside. if you came to see us Saturday, there was a point when I looked at people and said, I'm sorry, we have wilted. We are just sitting in these chairs and we were, it was so hot. Love y'all. Look around. <laughs> and it really wasn't very hot, but it was hot. Uh oh, my phone is messing up. Um, Sorry about that. My phone was messing up. Can we still sign up for the fundraiser? You can. It is over on maymayevents.com. Yay, I'm glad you're coming to our open house. That's awesome. They may want some pressure a 12 by 12. <laughs> That's what I did. That's my pressure. What can I do with a 12 by 12? Wouldn't this be cute turning into a folio? So you start with plaid instead of um, solid, and then you put pattern on top of your plaid, which is beautiful. Beautiful. What'd you say? Pattern on top of plaid. Can you text him and see what's going on? No. Because that's twice. All right, you guys. Um, we're about to start wrapping this one up today. I'm reading which a 12 by 12 folio. You know what, Michelle? I made a 12 by 12 folio, but it was so not good. It was not. I made it and Shannon and I, we were excited about it. We thought it was going to be one of the best ones, but we did not like it. And it, it used a lot of paper in a, like it was a, it was a, it was a paper hog. And I don't always mind that. I don't mind using my paper, but it was a lot. Um, and I didn't love it. I didn't love the way it turned out. So we never brought it to you. So Debbie Bean is a Brock Francais. I'll never say it right. It, it is a Brock. Well, they say Brack. Like uh, Americans say Brack, but I think it's Brock. Um, she's a French pointer. That's what she is. She's French. All right, you guys. We're going to let Vinny close this out in prayer. And um, oh, thanks, Garrett. That's the color of my top. I felt like it was seasonal too today. I felt like I was feeling fall. I'm going to let Vinny close us out in prayer, and then we're going to head out for today. Thank you all for being here. It was a fun little hour to spend together. You know what to do. When you start making these, I want to see them because um, you all always do better than I do. I always love to see what you guys take and run with. I cannot wait to see it. So um, go ahead, Vinny. Close us out. All right, let's pray. Hey, God, thank you for this day. I thank you, God, that no matter what we're going through, what we're facing, what struggles, whether they're financial, whether they're physical, whether they're mental, whatever they are, God, you're able. God, you told us in your word that you could do more than we could even ask or think. And God, that's hard to understand. You also told us that you would give us peace, a peace that would pass all understanding. So God, help us to just fully rely on you, to just completely rest in your precious arms. God, I know that uh, there's a lot of stress in our world today. There's a lot of hate. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of frustration going everywhere. But God, you're not about any of that. You're about loving us, comforting us, caring for us, just being there for us. God, I pray that you'd help us, help me, help May May to be more like you. Not to get hung up in the daily mess but to just focus our attention on loving like you taught us to love. God, I pray for every person watching today, God, that 
that your peace would fall upon them, that your love would wrap their your arms around them, and that God they would know that they are loved because we loved them for you. God, I praise you. I thank you for everyone watching. They'll never know how much they mean to us and what a blessing they are to our lives. So God, touch them today. We give you honor. We give you praise and all of the glory. We ask it in your precious son's name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you guys don't mind, say a special prayer for Wayne. He had to have a little surgery this morning. I don't know all the details, but I know that it went well. Um, it was kind of a surprise, but I know that it went well. And he will be in the hospital at least overnight. So if you guys would um, please keep praying for uh, Dwayne, we sure would appreciate it. All right, guys, we love you. We hope you had fun hanging out with us today. We had fun hanging out with you. And until next time, bye now.